channel. I'm back in again with a brand new video. Today I'm going to be reviewing my most, my favorite, my holy grail foundation that I'm going to put y'all on. So let's get started. So today I'm going to be reviewing the Estee Lauder Futura Hydra Rescue Foundation that has SPF 45. Right? Right? So I do like to say that this foundation is great for normal to dry skin. This is perfectly awesome if you want to have that natural look of foundation. This is the one for you. So I'm going to be reading a little bit of details of what the foundation is. So let's get started. So this claims that it can last up to 12 hours of long wear and which is really good so it's a buildable medium to full coverage which is great it does claim that it is breathable it is lightweight it is flawless natural looking foundation i love this foundation like it's my holy grail but i would like to say that it is on the pricier side. It's $45. Um, I was recommended by this foundation and I just fell in love. I fell in love. In my face, my makeup looks so natural. I don't look so cakey. I just don't look greasy and oily. So let's give it a go. Let's go ahead and give it a try and see what y'all think. So let's get started. Uh, what I'm gonna do first is prep and prime. I'm going to be using the Soap and Glory Moisturizer. And this is actually a great moisturizer for normal to dry skin. So, But it said it's for all skin types. You can find this at your local Target. This is really, really great. And it's like, um, it's like a, like a coral color. And the smell, it smells like soap. Duh. So the smell is not that bad, but it smells really good. Like, it smells off really good. So I'm just going to moisturize all my flaky skin because it's been really cold. Well, not that bad. Not that bad of a weather in Georgia. But it hasn't been snowing at all, and we've been wanting it to snow for the longest here. And since I've been down here... It hasn't snowed within like two or three years, if I'm not mistaken. I actually really want it to snow here, so just to take some cool pictures, you know. I'm going to be taking the Maybelline Master Prime Studio. Um, this is this hydrates and smooths the skin, and it does not clog pores or anything like that, so get it at your local Target. Cause this is where I got everything. It's in 050. Oh shoot, I think I put too much. Oh no, what are we gonna do? So I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender. Oh, sorry, it's a little dirty. So I'm just going to shake up, shake up the elf, um, the elf stay up, stay up to dampen the beauty blender. Homegirl trying to get in the shot. Say hi. Say hi, guys. So this is Bella, by the way. She wanted to introduce herself because she's being a little nosy girl. Say hi, Bella. Yeah. Yeah, so she doesn't feel like taking a nap right now, which she should. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like I ha I'm like a mother. I like your nap time is at one o'clock. You need to take your naps. You're being a little cranky. Oh, she said no, honey. I'm not. Girl, you got me. Ugh. So I'm in the shade. Uh, what shade am I? On? Oh. 3W120, so this is more like a pinkish undertone. Let's get into it. So the thing that I love about this foundation is that it's a buildable um, medium to full coverage. 
or medium coverage but I mean it's very natural it looks very natural on your skin of all the foundations that I have tried that I have used girl it is nothing compared to this good bad girl right here nothing compared to this bad girl like she has SPF 45 so this is great during um, when the summer comes around you're trying to look cute at the beach or the lake you know trying to look natural you know what I'm saying so you know this is honestly really great All right, so for concealer I'm going to be taking the Tarte Shape Tape Shape Tape a w, w, Double Duty Beauty Double Duty Beauty say that three times fast Double Duty Beauty Double Duty Beauty, double duty beauty, double duty beauty, beauty, double duty. Yeah, I, I can't say it three times fast. Uh, yeah, that's not gonna work for me. Apply some right here, and then here, and then upwards to give you like that lifted look. And then I'm just going to pat, 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 bounce, 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 going all the way up to the high of the temples, you know. And bam, she looks lifted. She looks amazing. You can't even tell, right? Oh, oh, she looking good. She looking like she hydrated. Yeah, it doesn't go. I'm gonna be setting with the NYX HD um, powder. So I'm just gonna put a little bit, I'm gonna put some under the eyes because that's where I mostly crease. Uh, this is a great um, drugstore uh, finishing powder. This is in the color Banana. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Then I'm using the e.l.f. Um, pointed powder brush. Sculpting my nose, you know, just to give it more depth. Depth? Depth? Dang, I need to go back to school. To contour the cheeks, I used the Milani Kabuki brush. Definitely, definitely worth it. She's she's very helpful. Very helpful. So she gives me that um that arch arch that that line, dude. I don't know. I, so after bronzer, I like to use the Sephora. Um, dude, this has been with me forever, and I haven't even hit the pan. I can never do it yeah I can't I don't know why I can never run my arms so I'm gonna use my busted dusted up um, highlighter and um, she she a little broken but uh, yeah I gotta fix her but she still works she's still going so I'm gonna use this brush by elf I believe um, I don't know what kind of brush or the name of the br brushes but um, I just highlight right here, 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 especially here, and then here. All right, brows are on. She's looking cute. Brows on fleek. No, not really. If you guys are looking for a good lash glue, I highly recommend the Kiss. Um, strip lash adhesive. I know she's a little dirty, but she comes like this. She looks like a mini mascara. So I got this at Walmart. Go to your local Walmart. You probably might find her. So it comes in like a point. So it looks just like an eyeliner, um, but she's actually really good. I'm talking about she's really good. She will stick on for the whole day. I actually love these lashes. These lashes are one of my favorite lashes you can actually get these lashes off of um, this website named playful eyes cosmetics or I'm just going to put it somewhere here on the screen or put it in the description box below but what I can tell you is that there's so many lashes so many varieties of lashes to choose from I actually love they're so bold they're so dramatic so this is actually my cousin's small business um, if you guys could actually be helpful enough to support her or at least just to support and maybe purchase some you know that would mean a lot to her 
and as well she does shipping and as well she does um, drop-offs but only in Georgia for um, drop-offs I believe if I'm not mistaken I'm not gonna be putting on any setting spray I'm just gonna leave it as is I want to show you guys how good of this foundation is how long this lasts um, I'm gonna give you guys like updates if there's an increasing oiliness or pores peeking through and I will check back with you guys in a couple hours alright guys so I'm back it's been a couple of hours now it's currently 2:43. so far so good I really don't see any fine lines at all I don't see anything like peeking through like I don't see no oiliness I don't see no shine I still look glowy just like how I left it and um, no pores peeking through so overall this is really really awesome I'm going to check back in a couple more hours all right guys and we're back it's been a couple of hours I do have a little bit of creasiness underneath my nose um, I do tend to get oily around that area um, by the touch and the feel, it's pretty smooth. I'm talking about my butter, baby booty smooth. Because it, like, it feels good, you know? So it feels good. No oiliness. I do get oily on my chin. My chin points to my forehead. <laughs> I do get oily on my forehead and my chin and around my nose. But so far, it's pretty good. The foundation hasn't slipped off yet. All in all, I recommend this foundation. It's such a great product. I love the feel of it. It doesn't feel cakey. It doesn't feel sticky at all. And it feels so smooth. So I do highly recommend it. It is 10 out of 10. A great foundation. And, you know, it's, it's worth it. It's worth the money, in my opinion. I do hope you guys enjoy this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and the subscribe button. And as well, turn on that post notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. And thank you guys so much for watching.